Foot Transit Connect, diesel particular filter, I've got such accumulation problems and ash accumulation. So I'll have a look at the live data, see if I can look at the pressures. I'm not too worried about the AC clutch relay circuit. I'm only here to do a regeneration on the car. So here I've got the diesel pressure. It's 15 and that's KPA. So I think that equates to around, what, 3 PSI? I'll, don't quote me on that. I'll have to look that up. Oh yeah, that's going right up. So, and the car's got no power, so I take it it is choked. What I'm going to do is maybe just verify that with a mechanical gauge. I'll go to the sensor. I don't need to, but I might just do it since I'm here. Do a before and after pressure test. There we go. What I need to do is get my uh, pressure pump and put it on that pipe and see what the, um, looking at live data, see what it thinks it is. If I put, say, say 5 PSI in, on the pressure pump and see what it changes it to in live data, to know whether it's the sensor that's faulty because the pressure's on, although they're high, but they're not the worst that I've seen. That's about 6 or 7 PSI, about 50 kPa. 50 kPa. I'll let that sit there. Oh, I just let the pressure off. Right, 50 kPa of pressure. Let it rest there. See that? 50 kPa, about seven, seven psi. One hundred kPa is one bar, so that would be five, like five and a half bar, and it's fifty kPa. That's not right then. So it's a faulty sensor all along. That's why, when we're looking on the the mechanical gauge, and it was only going up a little bit. If I remember right, it was going to about here when I revved it. Took over nothing, about one, one PSI. When I revved it up, when I blipped it, went up to three. All it is, after all this, is a faulty pressure sensor. It's gonna be cheaper than changing the DPF though. Thanks for watching.